to our midweek service. This is Pastor Deepo welcoming you again, all of our ICCLA Global family. Welcome to our third day service. Thank you for allowing us to come into your home. We are trusting God to visit you today. Tonight is a night of great prayer. We've just entered into a new month. And I believe that God has a word for you in the place of prayer. God has a prophetic word for your family in the place of prayer tonight. So I just want you to key in into what you are about to hear. As I lay the foundation for prayer for this month, when you hear the prayer point, don't just jump into the prayer. Listen carefully to the foundation. Listen to the word that comes with the prayer. And then we are going to pray through tonight. But first, let's worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I would like us to lift up our hands and appreciate the God who gives us the life that we breathe. He's the reason why we live. In Him we move. In Him we have our being. Just wave your hands to the Most High God and tell Him thank you for bringing you into another month. Just exalt Him, exalt Him, exalt Him. You are the reason why I lift my hands. Why I lift my voice, why I sing to you, Lord. You are the reason I'm alive today. Why I'm here to say it's all because of you. Jummy say you are the reason why I lift my hands. Is somebody lifting up your hands to the Lord tonight? And lift your voice. You You are the reason I am alive today. Why I'm here to say it's all because of you. Why we can breathe today Why we can sing today Why we can stand in hell Jesus is the reason We can stand in victory He's the reason we can stand delivered It's all because of you oh, You are the reason You are the reason why I lift my head. Come on, sing it to the Lord tonight. Sing it to the Lord, sing it to the Lord. Why I sing to you, you are the reason. I'm alive. Why I'm here to say it's all because of you. So worship bring up to the heaven. Exalt the King of Glory. Hey,
the Lord tonight give him praise give him praise because we serve the one who is amazing in his works is amazing in his speech is amazing in his love for us is amazing in the grace and mercy he makes available to us is amazing come and exalt you Lord hey I stand amazed in your presence There is nothing you cannot do oh, Thank you Jesus We stand amazed in your presence There is joy and peace and hope Yeah There's no one like you Jesus There's no one you in all the earth, nobody like you, Jesus. There's no one like you. Say, you do my, you do glory. Awesome. You do. I stand, stand amazed in your prayer. Has the love been good to you thus far? Come on, sing it and hail. When I think about your goodness from January till now, and all your loving kindness in my life. Oh. I 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, eh, hallelujah, hallelujah, eh, hallelujah, hallelujah, eh. Can you shout that along with us where you are? Say. to the Lord say hallelujah 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 count your blessings say hallelujah 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 say I love you I love you He's on the throne. 
unshakable. He's unshakable. He's unshakable. That's who you are. That is who you are. You're dependable. You can put your trust in Him every moment of the day. That is who we serve. He's dependable. Nothing can change His name. His word is yes and amen. That is who we serve. You're reliable, reliable, he's reliable, that is who we serve, yes, you're unshakable, 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 that's who you are, you are God alone, from the full time, come on sing it to the Lord tonight, there is none to compare with him. Say, 
Just, just do some praying tonight. Let me ask your siblings and your parents and grandparents, their daddy, are you ready to pray? It's time for prayer. Are you ready to pray? Receive the garment of prayer right now in your home. In the name of Jesus, receive that garment of prayer. Receive the anointing to pray. I bind every spirit of lethargy. I bind every spirit of lukewarmness that may want to hinder you from praying, that may want to hinder you from opening your mouth to pray. Every spirit of spiritual slumber, we bind you right now. In the name of Jesus, we render you powerless. We command you, get out of people's homes right now. Get out of people's lives right now. We release that spirit of supplication. We release that spirit of warfare. We release that spirit of prayer upon God's people right now in their homes, in their cars, wherever they are, where they are listening to me, we receive the anointing to pray upon them right now and in this place in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. You know, the Bible says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Now, when you draw near to God, imagine what God does when he's drawing near to you. I tell you before, I've told you before, the Bible says that heaven is his throne, the earth is his footstool. So if his legs are as long from heaven to the earth, and then you take those your small tiny steps more towards God this month, and God takes his own giant step towards you, you can imagine what will happen. That is why we want to start with a, cons a prayer of consecration. You want to enter this month where, with, with, with power. You want to live out this month in the power of prayer, in the power of God. You want to steer up your spirit unto prayer. You want to be in tune with the Holy Spirit in this month. Amen. And that is why we want to start off with a prayer that will consecrate you for this month. You want to consecrate yourself to the Lord afresh this month. You want to steer up your spirit unto prayer this month. You want to steer up yourself in spiritual things. You want to steer up everything that is within you to begin to, 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 begin to be close to God, to, be, to begin to embrace the Holy Ghost afresh this month, to go deeper into the things of God this month. The Bible says, deep calleth to the deep. That is what you want to do. You know, you can never reach the bottom. You can never fathom the bottom of God. You can't get to the end of God. As you continue to go deeper and deeper, you will begin to expand, you will begin to expand, you will begin to expand. So we want to go deeper this month. Amen. That is our goal and that is my prayer for you and for everybody in your family. So I prophesy to you today that as you consecrate yourself in the place of prayer to know God more, to seek God more, to fellowship more with the Holy Spirit, that you will have a fresh encounter with Jesus. You will have a divine encounter with Jesus in the name of the Lord. So shall it be concerning you. In Psalm 63, David, he was writing 
at the backside of the desert and he said oh god you are my god earnestly i seek you my soul thirsts for you my flesh longs for you in a dry and weary land where there is no water listen saints of god it's one thing for your spirit to desire god you are already born again and the holy spirit already made contact with your spirit that's why you are born again where you didn't know god your spirit was dead but in, since the day you gave your life to jesus the holy spirit made contact with your spirit and your spirit came alive and so you can only relate with God with, our, with your spirit. The Bible says God is spirit. And those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So that, it's not a big deal that you can relate with God with your spirit. That is a given. Even your soul, the seat of your will and your emotion and your intelligence. Well, going by all the great things that God is doing in your life, you will feel inclined to want to worship God. You will feel, you, you, you will be drawn to God. But when your flesh... <laughs> when your flesh begins to long for god because the bible say that flesh is the enemy of the spirit that everything that the spirit of god wants your flesh hates it your flesh doesn't want to do anything that god wants your flesh is an enemy of god your flesh is an enemy of god's word your flesh is an enemy of god's instructions when the bible god, paul said everything that i want to do I find myself not doing them. Even though my soul wants to do them, my mind wants to do them. My mind knows that this is the right thing to do. My intelligence knows that this is the right thing to do. My spirit as an apostle knows that this is the right thing to do. But I find myself not doing them. Why? Because of the flesh. And meanwhile, David is saying that my flesh is longing for God. Hey, I prophesy to you today. That in this month, your flesh will long for God. Because when it gets to a point where your flesh is now longing for God, I tell you it's a new dimension. Lift up your voice to the Lord. Say, Father, this month, let my soul seek you. Let my flesh long for you. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. The Holy Spirit, there is nothing that you cannot do. You can cause my flesh to begin to long for God. You can cause my flesh to begin to hate those things that God hates and begins to love those things that God loves. I want to enter into this new dimension in this new month. Oh God, I want to go deeper in you. I want to go deeper in the things of God. Let my flesh long for you. Let my flesh long for you. Let my flesh seek you more. Let my flesh desire you. Prayer, 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 prayer. Let my flesh desire you. Let my flesh long for you. Let my flesh seek you. From the time that I wake up to the time that I go to bed, let my flesh cry out to God. In a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. In other words, even in difficult situations, even in dry situations, even in times of spiritual famine, even when everything around me is collapsing, even when everything looks bleak that is what it means to be in a weary land where you have tried everything and they have all failed that's what it means to be in a dry and thirsty land where your soul is saying what is going on where you are thirsting for god oh father let my soul thirst for you this month let my soul thirst for you oh god loves this kind of prayer he loves this kind of prayer he loved prayer of consecration where you are putting him first where you are saying lord i lay down everything i put you first i put you first the bible says seek you first the kingdom of god and his righteousness that all these other things they shall be added to you god is the one who will add them to you our own is to seek him first but our flesh doesn't want to seek god i'm telling you your flesh does not want to seek God. Your flesh does not want to seek God. Your flesh wants to seek pleasure. Yes, your flesh wants to seek pleasure. Your flesh wants to seek entertainment. Your flesh wants to seek the things of the world. Your flesh wants to love the world. Your flesh wants to long 
hunger for the world, for the things of the world. Because the enemy knows that the love of the world is not the love of the Father. The enemy knows that. The enemy knows that, that the love of the world is enmity with God. Uh, that, yeah, that the enemy knows that. The enemy wants to pitch your spirit against your flesh. So that they are constantly in battle. But you can pray. You can pray this prayer that David prayed. You can pray it. Our God is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. God answered this prayer for David. Uh, that's why the Bible says that he's a man after God's own heart. He's a man after God's own heart. Pray that prayer to the Father. This month, this month, let my flesh long for you. Pray for your children. Pray for your spouse. Pray for me. Pray for your pastor. Pray for Pastor Nani that our flesh will long for God. Our flesh will long for God. Our flesh will long for God. That this new month that we just entered into, every single day, our flesh will be crying out to know God more, to want God more. In the name of Jesus, pray. Oh, thank you, Father. Prayer, 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 prayer. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. In Jonah's, in Jonah's vessel, that ship, the Bible says that ship was about to capsize. The people there were terrified. Inside that ark, they were terrified. There was terror. There was trembling. People were scared to death. Not only that, they began to throw out their treasure so that that ship, that ark would stabilize. They began to throw out, throw away their treasure. It got to a point when that didn't help and they were all going to perish. Jonah had to confess and say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We need human sacrifice here. We need human sacrifice. I'm the cause of it. Unless you sacrifice me, this, all of you are going to die. But there was another ark. <clears throat> the ark of Noah. The ark of Noah, even though people were perishing outside, there was no trembling in that ark. There was no fear in that ark. There was no trepidation in that ark. People were safe. People were secure. Treasures were not lost in that ark. Treasures were preserved in that ark. That ark, while people were dying outside, that ark was cruising over the flood. It was cruising. It was, the flood was launching that ark to its God-ordained destination while others were dying outside. The, the ark was cruising, was cruising over, over that flood. Eventually, that ark landed on Mount Ararat. That ark landed where God ordained it to land. No loss of, there was no human sacrifice needed. Rather, it was human salvation. People were saved. Brethren, you are in another ark that is greater than the ark of Noah. It is called the ark of salvation in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Because you are in that ark by power and by, your, by right of redemption. There are some things you have a right to claim because you are in that ark. You can, don't forget that the things that we have written in the Bible, the Bible said they are for our example, they are for our admonition. So the thing that God did, in fact, the ark of Noah is a symbol of the ark of salvation in Christ Jesus. So whatever they received by right, it is yours by redemption. In other words, those who are in that ark, they were preserved. So this month, you have to be preserved. Not only that, in that hour, they did not lose any treasure. So in this moment, you can decree it and claim it that you will not lose any treasure. Your children, they are your treasure. Your, your prayer life is your treasure. Your faith in God is your treasure. Whatever, even do you know that your pastors and your local church, they are your treasures too? Oh yeah, they are the ones that God is using. He entrusted your souls into their hands. The Bible says, strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. We are your treasures. So you need to pray that, Father, I claim it, what is already mine, that in this new month, I shall, have, I shall lose no treasure. 
you will not lose your children. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. You will not lose your children. You will not lose all the treasure that God has given you. Whatever God has given you, all the treasures in your house, your husband, your wife, your prayer life, your faith in Christ Jesus, you will not lose any of them. Your church, your pastors, your shepherds, you will not lose any of them. Pray all the treasure that God has given you. Oh, yeah, the ark of Noah, no treasure was lost. You will not lose any treasure. Prayer. Prayer, 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 prayer. Oh, yeah, begin to claim, claim it by right. Claim it by right. It is yours by right. It's yours by right. You are in the ark of salvation. Pray. Even if you stumble, even if you stumble in this month, those who stumbled in the ark of, in the ark of Noah, they stumbled inside the ark. They did not stumble into the flood and perish. No, 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 no. They stumbled inside the ark and they were raised up inside the ark. So even if you make mistake or you do anything and you stumble in this month, God Almighty will stretch out his hand and raise you up again. Even this month. Prayer. Prayer, 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 prayer. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's your right by redemption. 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 Oh yes, pray that because you are in the ark of salvation, that ark will lift you up this month. That ark will, will, will cruise over the flood of this month. All the flood of this month that will come your way, that ark will cruise over all the flood. That ark will land you safely at the end of this month that I will land you safely where God wants you to land at the end of this month that act will land your family safely at the end of this month where that where you are supposed to end you will not end in the wrong place this month no 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 the act because you are in the act of salvation in Christ Jesus that act will lift you up oh it will cruise it's eventually when you have grown to good old age, that ark will land you on heaven's shore. That ark will land you on heaven's shore. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. You know the story. Elijah was on the run from Jezebel. And then he became hungry. He was starving. And the Bible says, God sent a raven to bring him bread and fish in the morning and in the evening twice a day jesus and his disciples they said they were supposed to pay tax but there was no money no cash jesus told peter go to the sea the first fish that you catch just open the mouth you will see cash there go and pay our taxes you ask yourself first of all where did the bread and the fish come from that were being given to that the, that the raven where was he getting them from every morning every evening without fail bread fish where were they coming from the money the cash in the mouth of the fish where did it come from five loaves and two fishes the bible says was continue to multiply multiply where were they coming from it's just five where was the multiplication coming from the oil that did not stop when they kept pouring and pouring and pouring where was he coming from it's none of your business <laughs> it's none of your business your own is to know that your miracle will come when you need it let us base it on god's word so that you will say it's pastor that is just saying this let's base it on god's word hebrews 4 16 says let us then fearlessly and confidently and boldly draw near to the throne of grace i'm reading from the amplified classic the throne of god's unmerited favor to us sinners that we may receive mercy for our failures and find grace to help in good time for every need appropriate help and well-timed help coming just when we need it just when we need it you are going to lift up your voice right now and say father every help that i need this month every appropriate help well-timed help let them come 
just as I, when I need them. Prayer. Let them come when I need them. Pray that your miracle will And you can pray fearlessly. Pray fearlessly. Pray confidently. Pray boldly because of what Christ has already done. You can pray. You can come boldly to the throne of grace to pray, to pray this prayer. That Father, my miracle that I need. <laughs> this month, the help, the kind of help that I need. Father, this month, let it be well timed. Well timed help. Appropriate help. Maybe I don't even know the kind of help that I need. Maybe I'm thinking I need this kind of help, but you know, no, 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 that that is the kind of help that I need. Father, whatever kind of help that I need, I receive it this month. Let it come at the appropriate time. Well timed help just as i needed prayer the help that your children need the help that your husband needs the help that your wife needs the help that your church needs the help that your pastors need the help that your parents need pray that that help will come just as they need it according to god's word say i stand on hebrews 4 16. i stand on hebrews 4 16. i come boldly to the throne of grace today I come boldly by the blood of Jesus, by what Jesus has has accomplished for me on the cross of Calvary. I come boldly, I come fearlessly today in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. The Bible says, God has spoken once, twice have I heard that power belongs to God. And so that gives me confidence that every prayer you have prayed tonight, no power in heaven, on earth, or under the earth can stop them from being fulfilled. Because power belongs to God. So when things begin to happen that appear to want to contradict what you have prayed, you must know what to say. You must say, once has God spoken, but twice have I heard that power belongs to God so you this situation you can't happen because you don't have the power because power belongs to God whenever you hear any evil report you have to say once has God spoken twice have I heard that power belongs to God if they say you will not make it this month you say oh no 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 once has God spoken twice have I heard that power belongs to God when your body begins to act up no 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 once has God spoken twice have I heard that power belongs to God glory be to the name of our Lord hallelujah blessed be his holy name glory to God let's pay our tithe at this time
Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we are so grateful for the spirit of obedience that you have bestowed upon us to tithe. And so, Father, receive our tithe today. Uh, we thank you so much for your promises that the devourer is rebuked for our sake. We receive it. We receive it. We are in agreement with you, Lord, that we shall not be devoured, that our resources, our homes, our children, our lives will not be devoured by the enemy. Father, we agree with your word that the window of heaven is opened unto us that we will not have enough room to contain your blessings. Father, we agree with your word that when they say there's a casting down for us, there's a lifting up. Lord, we bless you and give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's give our offering. Yes, Father, there is no one like you. We want to thank you again, Father, for the grace of giving. Thank you for increasing the fruits of our righteousness. Father, we trust you that all our needs will be supernaturally met, as you've always done. Father, we bless you today. We pray for all those who are looking for jobs, that you will step in and intervene and grant them jobs that will give them peace that will allow them to be able to see have time for you and yet will be a blessing to their family and to the kingdom of god father we thank you once again and give you praise in jesus mighty name we pray amen let us share the grace in fellowship the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and our sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy are following us all the days of our lives, and we are dwelling in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>